Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. It was a drive through DWI. A late night Burger King craving combined with alcohol landed a repeat drunk driver behind bars after he nodded off in the drive through lane. Something police say happens more than you might think. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart has a story. Just after 10 last night, 30 year old Alejandro Espinoza rolled through this Burger King drive through, sort of. Employees at the fast food restaurant in Hobbs say he appeared drunk and was randomly falling asleep, so they called police. The employees of the fast food restaurants that stay open late, they, they often call that there's people intoxicated and, and uh, coming through their drive through late at night, and we really appreciate them helping us get these um, drunk drivers off the road. By the time Espinoza made it to the drive up window, employees here say he was still having trouble paying. They told police he was even dozing off periodically during the whole process. But Espinoza made it out of the lot before police arrived. An officer spotted him down the road and pulled him over. Police say they immediately noticed open bottles of alcohol in the car. Well, they found a couple of bottles up in the front that were empty, two or three in the back, or several in the back, and then they found. Like I said, a, a, a whole case of 40 ounce beers. Officers said Espinoza's speech was slurred, his eyes bloodshot, and that he reeked of alcohol. He refused field sobriety tests and told officers he'd been drinking all day in Lovington and knew he was drunk. Driving any distance it, when you're intoxicated is, is dangerous, but you know, driving a, a, a long trip, you know, 18 to 20 miles like this from here to Lovington, that I was just really happy to see the officers get. Get this individual off the streets. Turns out this wasn't Espinoza's first offense. When police checked his rap sheet, they found he's been arrested seven times for DWI in other states since 2004. Last night is number eight, and police say it could have been a deadly outcome. He was falling asleep at the drive up window, so I'm sure that while he was trying to drive, he was probably falling asleep. In Hops, Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE News 13. Police say Espinosa had a valid New Mexico driver's license, even though he was arrested for DWI in Texas in May. They say it's possible the MVD had not received the information yet from Texas.